how does your market currently conserve, uh, consume content? Because oftentimes you come up with some great stuff. So for example, I'll use Julia again as an example with, with Whitespace. When she started to put that in the marketplace 10 years ago, she wasn't having any luck on the corporate side. Then the world changed a little bit. Google's doing mindfulness and everybody's doing, you know, the things that companies are buying today would have been in the self-help section 10 or 15 years ago. So part of it is, is the market ready to have what, buy what you have? You might have the greatest solution to the problem they have, but you couldn't sell mindfulness to the John Deere Tractors Association 10 years ago. Good luck. It just wasn't going to happen. What's that? Timing. Timing, yeah. Yeah, what are the trends out there? So what, what is that market? Where else are they consuming the content? How do they want it, right? So oftentimes, um, we'll work with clients and say, oh yeah, what, well, how do you get your work out? Well, we have a five-day workshop. Well, okay, when was the last time anybody went to anything for five days? So if you can't take that five-day workshop and take the same IP, the underlying assets, the thinking, whatever, and chunk it into small, smaller chunks, you're out of the game, 